Gemini 3 has just been released and it is flying through the benchmarks. So today we're going to test it against 5.1 actually instead of just looking at these benchmarks. We're going to test it on four things. Number one, can it write text and sound like a human? Number two, can it code up a game on one page of HTML that actually works? Three, how good is it at making human-like images? Four, how good is it at teaching and stuff? And five, can it actually succinctly reply to me? Because normally, ChatGPT always says to me, here's my no BS low uh, succinct response, which drives me mental. So, let's get started. First things first is, write a human-like article about Gemini 3 release. Let's get started. The first thing, let's ask it to write a LinkedIn post and sound like a real human. Write a LinkedIn post about Gemini 3. Sound like a real human. So let me copy that. We'll send it in. Boom. Then we'll send it in here. Boom. Now one thing I do notice when these new models get released normally is that they're really fast when they first come out. Holy moly, what's happening here? It's still thinking on oh, Gemini's side. I had to move out to see the screen because you're in the way. Um, <clears throat> but it's still thinking. Holy moly, that's taking ages. So it's some deep thinking there. And ChatGPT5 is rapid. So let's just quickly read it. ChatGPT5 says Google just dropped this, and honestly, this one feels different. <sighs> this honestly sounds like AI. The big thing isn't the raw IQ jump, it's how natural it feels to use. Less robotic, fewer wheel movements, more I can trust them. That just sounds like AI, doesn't it? Let's check the other one out. So, I'll be honest, oh my gosh, it's M dashed me. It's M dashed me. Gemini, what have you done? <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. Oh my, I was about to seen this vibe going on. This is even more AI sounding than ChatGPT. What have you done? Let me check. Am I definitely on three? Well, that was rough. Let's uh, make sure this one's on thinking so that they're both the same and we'll move on to coding a one-page game. So, make me a 3D JS one-page HTML game like GTA but just for driving. Boom. Now we send that in over here to ChatGPT. Boom. Let's see how they get on. So, first things first, hopefully there's actually graphics. Because sometimes when I do this, it gives me back like nothing. So you can't do anything, it just looks awful. There's basically just like black screens with a little red square as a car scooting about. So, on the left here, it's got us in canvas, which is good. On the right, I don't actually know if it's opening this up in Canvas, i.e. if I can actually preview the code directly here. I think it's just giving me the, the code itself. So let me ask if I can get it in Canvas. In Canvas so I can preview. I mean, I would have thought that it would have done that automatically, but ChatGPT sometimes doesn't. Um, this code here looks so much longer, and it's taken so much longer to create. Whereas on the right hand side here we can see ChatGPT 5.1 is just flying through. Now let's click on preview and this one's still going. So here's a lot of this. do you see what I mean? This is uh this is the difference here. Um is I mean look at the neck of this world. That's rubbish. Whereas here, let's see. Oh, is it working? Yeah, there we go. Oh hey, this looks much better. Can I drive and I can't even drive into the buildings? Oh, Hey, 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 I'm so impressed with this. Look at ChatGPT's one, look at me. Look at me go. Yum. <laughs> hey, for one shot, that is so good. Now let me actually, let's see if we can upgrade these here. So let's upgrade them. Upgrade the games to have, or the game, to have realistic looking roads and buildings, etc. Let's send that in. And let's do the same on this side here. Boom. See what they say. Um, I'm, I'm actually so impressed by, by Gemini in that instance. Sure, it took a lot longer, but even just like having lights on the car just make it look so much better. So let's uh, see what it can do. Obviously here these aren't like realistic. Oh, hey, I like this. Look at this. That looks cool. 
testing material options. Right, so is it done? Or is it just working? I mean, it says stop here, so it must still be working. This one too. I don't even know what I was going to say there. Oh yeah, I know this isn't really real world coding, but it gives you an idea of how it can use maths, physics, and just coding generally to actually create something real, usable, and um, trustworthy, for better, want of a better, better word. Um, but it gives a holistic idea. So let's see here. Hey, this actually looks pretty legit. I mean, compared to what it used to look like. Oh, but then the map ends. Not, uh, does it? Yes. Whoa, but then you go back to start. But I mean, at least it's got road markings that look somewhat normal. Because before I've done this, they don't look normal. Let's go on this side. Let me see, is it still testing? It says it's still testing, but I can't see anything. It just says that it's doing stuff. Let's open it and see. What's it doing? Yeah, it's still writing code. Oh, no, there we go. Good. Whoa, what's going on here? Holy moly, it's so fast. Right, so I think we can see that the the way that it's rendered this is obviously wrong. But I, th I mean, I th still think it's night and day that Gemini is just so much better. I mean, look at the difference here. Night and day. Literally, night and day. Cool. So I think uh, that's uh, one each. Let's move on to creating images. So we did do a video on Nano Banana, right, <laughs> in which we, we had shown that it's amazing. So I think Nano Banana will win here, but let's uh, let's just check and see. So first I'm going to go to... Or actually, we'll do this. We'll just take my picture here. Look. Say cheese. Boom. Right. <laughs> so we're going to get this picture. Let me copy this picture. Let me put it here. Bam, bam. I'm going to say it. Let's copy this picture. I'll say here. Bam, bam. And we'll say something like... What will we do? Um, make me on FaceTime. These are... <laughs> this is bad English, but it's alright. Make me on FaceTime. <laughs> Elon Musk and Donald Trump say so we're all wearing Celtic strips. Boom. Now let's pop that in. Wonder if it'll... Um, right, there we go. Loading banana. Nano banana. Pro oh, can't use specific people. Come on, mate. Why not? Why not? Same worth. Let's just say... Elon Musk. Will it say the same thing? Something interesting about it, see, like, I can't do certain people. And, like, it can't create... It can't make vid pictures of bad stuff. Kind of basically is what I'm trying to say. Is that the whole thing with that, though, is that they test for it. So they have the power to do it. You just don't have the power to access it which I think is very dangerous for companies to have, just as a side note here. Now, on this side, ChatGPT 5 is getting started, but to be fair, ChatGPT 5.1 will normally, for me at least, it will start loading the the pictures that it's not allowed to make, and it will get to like here, and then it will cut out and say, I'm not allowed to do that, even though it just shows me the whole thing already. Um, and I noticed that before when when the image stuff was first coming out. But it's taking absolutely ages. I mean, so is this one. This is taking absolutely ages. Visualising the scene, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't know if it's... creating the interactive API. Wait. It's made a website. Must be because I had Canvas open. Um, okay. <laughs> Elon's head. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Right, so this other side, we have... Um, Elon Musk and Donald Trump's creating the image. Elon already looks fake. Look at the nick of that. I have wrinkles. Do I have wrinkles? Kind of. Mm, getting old, mate. Well, hey, one hoops. One hoops, Elon. Um, this one's still going along. Oh, look, it's made me AI. Look at the nick of this. Hey. What's this here? Upload photo. What's going on here? It's made me a wee game. Let me see. Tap to add photo. Oops, use camera maybe. <laughs> What's it doing here? 
Let me see. Hey, let's get my webcam. Boom. Hiya. <laughs> it's made me a little app. That's so cool. Be cool if you all moved too. But anyway. Hey, that's that's um not what I wanted, but that's pretty cool. I'll say no. <laughs> and then what we've got here. I found the video showing off the latest hoops kit to go and check that out. Hey, very cool. Um no, I want it as an image generated. Let me get rid of this. Let me still start. I have to watch like that too. Well, right, let's just see if it will figure it out. Right, on the right hand side, this doesn't look like me, does it? No, same like this bit maybe, but the rest of it's not me. Elon doesn't look like Elon, but Trump does look like Trump, and we definitely are all wearing Celtic tops, which is pretty cool. But there's no FaceTime like iconography or anything. It's just this. Um, but it has the major details there for everyone. You can kind of tell it's supposed to be me, but it still looks mega like AI. Um, let me see here. Here's a FaceTime style image of you and Trump. Come on, what are you doing to me, Gemini? Just legit. Try to fish me. Content not found. Use nano banana and put it in chat. Let's see what they say here. I'm actually well disappointed on this here. Um, I thought I'd just do it straight away because it's supposed to be amazing. This all have this in my... Nah. Don't have a picture of me anymore anyway, so I might need to open up a new chat and do it. There you go, look at the difference. <laughs> oh, right. Let's open up another one and we'll have a quick look. So let's... Oops. Go with this. Paste that in here. Then we'll just do this here. Bam, bam, bam. We'll let it run. A lot of people I can help with, but I can't depict some public figures. Interesting here that Google's, you know, super safety, especially when it's just wearing a Celtic top. Um, and it's also interesting because, side note, I have a video on this, whole video on Nano Banana, but essentially using the Higgs field here, I was able to create like this picture, which is me and Elon Musk, me and Rick Rubin. Um, so I know that Nano Banana can do it, it's just not allowing me to do it on here. So very unhelpful. I'll just say just me then on FaceTime waiting for them to pick up. Because I want to see if it can create the iconography around it. Let's see. Let me see. Okay, here's an image of you on FaceTime waiting for the call to connect. Well, where is it? Ah, uh, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Come on, mate. I can't even rerun this, can I? No, no, no. There's no image, mate. Actually, very disappointed. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, cool. So, anyway, whilst that's going on, let's go over to this side. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. I've reached my thinking limit as well. Thanks, mate. You're very, very handy. So, let's go to guided learning. And this one here, we'll just, I think we'll just keep it on whatever. Thinking. I think we study and learn. There you go. I'm uh, thinking. Thinking limits reached. Honestly, ridiculous. Let's remove my thinking here. And we'll say, teach me the 10. Um, teach me the laws of physics. Boom. This one, teach me the laws of physics. Boom. Go on then. Show me the laws of physics. I want to see it visually. So, two main categories which. This is, would you like to explore first? Oh, I hate when they do this. Just start from the start. Just start from the start, mate. Now, Newton's first law, so it just tells me this. Show me. Come on. Show me the money. Show me. Show me stuff. I mean, this is rubbish. This is rubbish. Show me. Create images and visualizations like Gemini tries to say that they do. They're like, oh, look at this dynamic thing we've created. Yeah, it can't even show me, mate. Honestly. 
this is awful. There we go. I mean, that's not good, but hey, that's fair enough. At least it's trying to show me something. So, I mean, in this instance, does ChatGPT win? I don't know. I think ChatGPT's won. 3 1. What do you think in the comments below? Um, so, let me see. Let's just get into succinctly. Succinctly, tell me the latest AI news. I was going to get it to do a full roundup, but. Um, of the day, of today's experiment, but um, it's uh, in a couple of different chats because Gemini, you can't use the same, you can't use different like models in the same chat, which is a nightmare. So on the left hand side, let's see here, latest I news, Frontier model releases, regulatory changes, AI agent war, soon perplexity, hey, interesting, didn't know that, massive investment in UK policy, AI growth zone in South Wales. UAE also launched 1 billion digital infrastructure in Africa. Interesting. On this side, boom. That's, this is more like how I like stuff to be written. Ba 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 bam. Windows 11. Yeah, agents. Interesting. Ernie, benchmark strongly outperforming this. Hey, that's interesting. I mean, to be fair, I think that ChatGPT knows me probably more, but I do prefer the succinct nature of. Um, how it writes. This here looks nice, but I'm not going to read it. This here doesn't look nice, but it's actually readable, which is interesting. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Gemini 3 or ChatGPT 5.1. I must say, I'm thinking for coding, Gemini 3 easy. For writing, I think maybe 5.1. For images, Nano Banana is definitely the best, but you want to do Nano Banana on something like Higgsfield. Anyway, till next time, I'll see. Oh, I'm making a Higgsfield AI automation video using the Higgsfield new API. So, subscribe for that video. Let me know if you want to see it in specific, like how to make video ads or how to make, you know, viral shots or something. Let me know. Anyway, till next time, I'll see you later. Bye.